Hi again and welcome to Learning AutoCAD 2013. In this tutorial, we will approach some of the commands known as modifiers like move, copy, and mirror. These tutorials are being produced by EasyCAD for you and today we will basically practice with the drawings we've done so far in the previous tutorials. The command move, as its name suggests, allows you to move things within your drawing. First of all, you can activate the command here in the ribbon in the Home tab, Modify panel, or you can type its shortcut in the keyboard. Shortcut for move is the letter M, and that's what I'm doing, and hit enter. And then it says, select objects. Now you can select one object or multiple objects to move and make sure to hit enter again to close the selection process. Now the next request is specify base point or and let's stop here just for a second so you can see that you can do it also the other way around. You can first select the object, then right click to access the command shortcut menu and finally select move from the menu here. In this case you're selecting the object first and then activating the move command. At this point for both cases the next prompt is the same specify base point or. This means that you need a reference point from which to move your object. CAD will call it the base point. You can select any point as your base point. It doesn't matter if it is within your object or outside of the selection of objects to move. Just make sure it is a point which makes sense for you or for the drawing. In my case, I'll select this one here. Now notice that you can see a preview of your objects moving while you move the crosshair and the original object appears in dotted lines. Now look at the command prompt and see that it says specify second point or use first points as displacement. And basically that means where do you want CAD to move your object. And, and once you are where you plan, just click in your intended place and it will move as you indicated. However, assuming that your drawing is one of high precision, you need something to move with extreme accuracy. Now move have another choice. While moving, and that choice is a displacement option of the command. Let's do it. Select command move again. Now select the object. Hit enter to close the selection process. And now look here at the command line and notice that the default option highlighted is the displacement option. So if you type D or just hit enter again or click on top of the displacement selection, it will activate this option. Let's select it. And now you can see that CAD is, CAD is requesting to enter the displacement or distance. Say we want it at 4, 0, 0. And before hitting enter, you can see a preview of the place where the handle will be moved 4 inches to the right. Just hit enter and this completes the movement. Now let's move it down 4 inches. So let me undo now and let's start all over again. I'll repeat the command. Let's select displacement instead of base point and for the coordinates we'll enter 0, comma, minus 4, comma, 0. See down here the preview for the new position and since it is okay with me I'll hit enter again and it's done. Now you can try on your own with different values for X and Y axis and see how it behaves. The displacement mode of the new move command is a, is a very useful one since it allows you to move things not randomly but with accuracy. So if you need to move things with precision within your drawing at a specific distances, this might be your first option. Now let's go to another modify command command copy. Copy behaves similar to move but with extra options. This is a very useful command because it allows you to create things just one time and then reuse it as many times as needed. In other words, it eliminates the tedious task of repeating the same drawing process over and over as we did in our last tutorial, most likely you remember, with the basis for this elevation. Let's look at it in action. Activate the copy command here, down the move command. 
or you can type also the shortcut which for copy command is co initial prompt is select objects and again you can select as many as you want let's select this handle as if this was the first one we have done after you complete your selection click enter and see that now it requests the base point let's select this corner here and now when we start specifying the points to place the copy object you can see we can do all the handles with a single operation nice huh now let's call again the copy command and look to the command line down here and see that in addition to use a base point you have also the displacement and mode options available mode option refers to the option to copy in single or multiple modes by default the multiple mode is active and you just change it rarely but displacement means the same as in move command and we will use it the exact same way the main difference is that when copying you won't lose the original i'm selecting the displacement mo mode now and see how it works after i enter the values for the coordinates now i'm using a feed comma zero comma zero and see that as in move you have a preview for the new position before hitting enter now finish the command click enter and see the results you can see that it created a copy at the exact distance we specified. We didn't lose the original, right? And for the third base, you can repeat the process. I mean, you, you can do exactly the same thing, or you have a different option. You can use the array option of the command. Now let's erase this so you can see how the array option of this command works. And please don't confuse it with the array command, which we will approach in the next tutorial. This option will allow us to create multiple copies at once. In this case, we just need two more copies instead of one. And let's see it. Click copy again, specify the base point. I'll use a base point on top of the bases here. But now after selecting the point, you see down here that the array option appears and we will use it. You should know at this point how to select it, right? Just use the letter A as a shortcut or click on top of array. And notice that the prompt says now, enter number of items to array. Although we need two more bases, the number to enter here is number three, because to calculate properly the spaces, CAD requires you to include the original selection. So let's enter three. The next prompt is specify second point or fit. Let's go for the first option. The second point and all we need to do is look for the exact same point in the next column and use it as a second position or point now click there and voila we just create the rest of the bases with only one shot a similar result is achieved with the fit option let's go back to the command and repeat it select copy again use the base point now go for the letter a for array three for the amount of items and now letter f for fit and this basically means the entire distance between two points to accommodate the amount of objects you specify and it doesn't matter how many you need three or three hundred it will work just like this click here which is the same place but in the last column for the second point and we just did the same in a different way now let's see how and why to use the command mirror. As its name suggests, what this command does is copy and flip the image at the same time. Let's look at the command in action. We'll call mirror here next to copy or use the shortcut, which is MI. Now the first prompt is specify first point of mirror line. And this means that in order for CAD to generate the mirror image, you need to specify an imaginary or virtual line path along which it will create the image. And that path could be vertical, horizontal, or even at an angle. Now let's select the point where we want our mirror line started. Now notice it requests the second point of the mirror line. See that you can have a preview of the operation. 
and this basically means that this will be the position of your mirror image. But once you click the second point, this preview will disappear. A lot of beginners got lost here because they think that the operation didn't go through. So don't get caught by that. Now select the second point and you see what, it, what I was talking about. See that now cat is asking. Erase source objects. If you say yes, it will delete the original and will only give you the mirrored image. But in our case, we will enter N for no and hit enter. So it keeps the original plus the mirror image, which here completes our desk drawing. Another detail is that your mirror line doesn't need to be straight. You can also use angle lines, as in this example. Here I, ha I have a rectangle with a circle down here, but I want the circle to be repeated up here. And instead of measuring the precise point to locate up here the same circle and then draw the circle, what I will do is to use mirror and specify the mirror line angular here between these two opposite points. Here you can have the result once you complete the command. So you see that these modifiers can have a big impact in reducing your drafting time. Of course, we haven't gone through every option or possibility with these three commands, but now you have a pretty good idea of how to use this and what they are useful for. The more you practice, the better your skills. And for sure, along the way, you will find many opportunities to implement these commands. For now, this is all false. Remember, if you want to learn more, you can subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this video if you like it. For next tutorial, we'll be discussing all the three commands. So keep in touch. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.